What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the top three websites, in my opinion, that have the best plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. Now, keep this in mind before you guys scream at me saying that I didn't tell you guys that these plugins do cost money. However, if you guys do, and I'm not being sponsored to say any of this, so just keep that in mind as well. If you guys do pay for one of the plugins or any of the plugins, you will get your money's worth. So the first website is called motionvfx.com. I'll leave all of the links in the description. And uh, so the first one I currently use is the motionvfx.com website. And they offer a whole bunch of different plugins for different programs or applications. So the first one being Final Cut Pro 10, the one we currently use or that I currently use. And uh, they even have, if you just go to the plugins, they offer different um, like genres or something like that. Uh, so we have color grades, visual effects, film and compositing elements, logo types, titles, which is one of my favorite ones, cartoon transitions, bundles and tools. And they even have some for After Effects. So if you click on After Effects, they have their own separate little thing going on, as well as the one for uh, motion. However, I'm going to go on to the Final Cut Pro 10 uh, plugins. So if you go on to here, uh, it will tell you if they are for Final Cut Pro 10 or After Effects. So I'm going to go into plugins. I'm usually going to go for the transitions because everyone loves these transitions. They ask me, where do I get them? This is where I get them. Okay. It's called M transition zoom. And if you hover over one of the plugins, it will automatically play the video for you. Just showing you guys how to use it or what you're going to be getting. So if you click on more info, you will be presented with this and it shows you a really cool little slideshow and it is $60. However, I think it's well worth the money for 50 transitions for Final Cut Pro 10 that you can't get with the built-in program. So we have different ones like this. It even gives you like a sample video of where you would use it in the real world. So we have one. It's by Ricardo Fasoli, I believe. And it shows you some really cool things that you can do with this plugin. So the next website is called uh, store.pixel film studios or just pixel film studios. If you click on that, we have plugins for Final Cut Pro 10 as well as one for Motion 5. So if you go down, they have different ones. They, they feature Final Cut Pro 10 plugins at the very top. So we have one for projection, pro denoise. Pro removal is one of my favorite ones. Their plugins are really, really amazing. And I don't want to seem biased towards any of these websites because these websites are personally my favorite. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys right now. So the pro removal tool, I guess, for Final Cut Pro 10 is kind of like the spot removal or the spot healing brush in in uh, Photoshop. So if we go ahead and push play, we'll give you a little preview or a little sample of what this tool or this plugin can do for you in Final Cut Pro 10 and what you would use it for. So this is great if you want to go ahead and get rid of like, I don't know, um, cars or people in a video. So that's kind of interesting because I know you can do that in Photoshop, but with with videos, it's a little bit interesting how that works. However, they engineered it to do just that and it shows you guys how to even use it. So that's really cool. Like I said, if you guys want me to review this actual plugin, leave a like. That'll be awesome or just comment down. So the next website is called fxfactory.com. I did make a video on this as well. I posted a video on this a couple months back showing you guys how to use it. So if you go on to products at the top right here. You guys do have to download a separate file to install these plugins. However, they do offer effects and plugins for Final Cut Pro, Motion, Premiere, and After Effects. So um, we have the plant, the uh, pan and zoom. We have Manifesto, and it shows you if they're free. So these are free. So if I go down and we, we click on one of them to show you guys a little preview of it, if, so you guys know what I'm talking about, it will go ahead and just show you what you would use it for. So this is the actual plugin. I think I made a video on this. I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna go and hop in onto Final Cut Pro 10 and show you guys the ones that I currently have installed. The first one that I showed you guys how to do is the M message. So if you go onto the M message, these are just pretty much little notifications that uh, little notifications that are animated. So you see this a lot in the films and movies where they're texting each other and the little message box pops up. That's how they kind of do it with um, uh, Premiere is what they usually use. But Final Cut Pro 10, you can do the same um, result. So what you do is you click the track and a little square will come up. You select what you want to 
uh, track. You make the box click track, it will track every single frame. I think there was 240 frames. And when you push play, this is kind of the effect you're going to get. I know it doesn't really work well with this because it's moving onto a different clip and it looks weird. I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys found it helpful in any way, um, please leave a rating below. That would be much appreciated. Until then, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.